hi guys, I am sharing my 28 week pregnancy update video. So if you are interested in hearing everything that's been going on, then stick around. Good morning friends, I thought I would take a minute to do a quick pregnancy update video. I'm, I'm 28 weeks already and I can't believe I'm already 28 weeks. My first pregnancy went so slowly compared to this one and I'm sure it's because I have Elijah already and we're busy and you know we're doing a lot um, so my mind is distracted but it just feels like it has completely flown by. So everything is going very well. Um, like I said, I'm 28 weeks and baby is very big. Um, I, I had an, um, an ultrasound when I was, I was 27 weeks and 6 days and baby was, was measuring at 29 weeks and 2 days. So he is just a big boy. It is the complete polar opposite to my experience with Elijah. The scan I had prior to this scan that I just had, I um, he was the same weight that Elijah was when he was born. So it was really nice. I could kind of picture what he looked like, um, you know, in terms of his size. But now he's gone straight past that. He's weighing in at 1.5 kilos. Um, so I think that's around around three pounds. Um, and yeah, he's just, he's really big uh, and he has been big since um, maybe around 20 weeks I think is when we noticed that he was quite big and I have had multiple scans since then keeping an eye on his growth and he is following the growth line. Um, you know, there's a chart that they follow and he is on, on this one line um, following it perfectly but in the 97th percentile so he is very big. I found out about um, about two weeks ago that I have gestational diabetes and it's something I was prepared for because I had it in my first pregnancy and it's very common to get it in consecutive pregnancies. Um, it's consecutive the right word? You know, in the next pregnancy. Um, so I was prepared. I had had early testing done and I had been tested about three times. Uh, and particularly when they, uh, well early on I was tested about 14 weeks and then once more and then when they found out that he was big I got tested again and I didn't have it. Um, it was all perfectly great and then the next test it came up that I did, I did have it and that's common to develop it later in pregnancy um, as you know the hormones and the placenta and everything gets more and produces more of the hormones and all of that it's very common um, that you don't have it in early pregnancy but can get it in later pregnancy if you're going to get it uh, so I think um, part of me thought you know I, I asked I had an obstetrician appointment yesterday and I asked them is he big because uh, of the gestational diabetes and they said no he was big already he was just gonna be a big baby and um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to see, um, you know, I'm excited to see how big he is when he comes out compared to Elijah. I'm excited to, um, you know, experience labor with a different sized baby and actual delivery. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited about all of it. So the gestational diabetes, like I said, it wasn't a complete surprise. It was, however, disappointing that I got it because it does just mean a whole other level of responsibility that you have to take and I was eating very well very healthy before I found out that I got it um, but eating healthy and a carb rich diet um, and good carbs you know like fruits and all of that kind of thing not not lots of refined sugars but it does mean a pretty big diet overhaul um, and I mean I can still eat all the same things that I was eating it's just a much smaller portion 
So, so far it has been going well. Um, my blood sugar levels are, are looking good and I'm able to manage it with diet. I had an appointment with the diabetes specialist yesterday and he was happy, you know, so far with how it's going. That can change though as you progress and your hormones increase. Um, you can follow the diet perfectly and your placenta just takes on a mind of its own and you need to have some help from insulin. Um, so at this point in time I can manage it with diet alone and that's what happened uh, last pregnancy with Elijah. Um, it was okay for me to manage it with diet but we'll just see what happens uh, with this pregnancy if I can continue to do that or if I need to have some insulin. So, what else is there? My appointment yesterday with the obstetrician, we were looking at his scan and she said he's definitely big but he is healthy and he looks good and happy and then she said but you will be induced at 38 weeks and I thought wow okay <laughs> um, and she just said you know given the rate of his growth and um, how big he would be by that point um, you know we'd need to look at inducing me because he would just get to be too big um, and that was if I didn't need insulin with the gestational diabetes if I did need insulin it's likely I will be induced at 37 weeks apparently um, and I was hoping for a completely natural birth um, you know natural labor and all of that I was induced with Elijah if you haven't watched my previous videos Elijah stopped growing my son who's almost five um, he stopped growing at 27 weeks and then I had him at 32 weeks and I was induced with that so there's a part of me that's disappointed um, you know that the I that I may not have a natural labor there's always the chance that I could just go into na neighbor <laughs> into natural labor um, before that 38 week mark um, but my husband and I were talking about it and he said oh you're really disappointed and um, part of me was looking forward to a completely different birth experience this time around but also sometimes there's comfort in what you know and I know about being induced that was my experience I didn't mind it it wasn't a bad experience at all um, so you know it's also comforting to just know what to expect uh, the other thing is that you're there and monitored and my experience first time around and it may have been because I was induced was that I, I labored very very quickly like from when contraction started an hour 45 minutes and he was here uh, so part of me also thinks if I went into natural labor when do I go to the hospital you know when do I go straight away there are things I don't know about um, so part of me would be comforted to know that I would just be there and being monitored and everything yes yeah, so all of that is going well and I also it's exciting to think about being induced because it gives us a more definite date on when to expect him and uh, that just makes it feel much more real and very exciting and being that I'm 28 weeks and I'll be induced at 38 weeks unless he comes early um, it means there's only 10 weeks to go and that's just very very exciting we're all we're all very excited to meet him we haven't picked a name yet we have like a short list of names and we aren't going to pick one until we um, until we meet him and we look at him and we see what he looks like and we try out all the names and all of that. In terms of what we have for baby, we have quite a lot of clothes, we have quite a lot of blankets, uh, we have quite a lot of what we need. Uh, there are still, we need some big items, we need a bassinet and I'm still trying to decide between a couple. We need a car seat and again I'm trying to decide between a couple and then also some cloth nappies I think. I'm going to go the cloth nappy route this time and uh, I went to order them earlier but they only had a couple of colors left um, so I'm just waiting for them to get all of their colors in so I can pick the designs I want and then order them from there so that will be exciting and I think that's just about everything I want to get a carrier as well I have a manduka Manduka, is that how you say it? Carrier that I used with Elijah. I used that a ton and he loved it. Uh, and I'm happy to use that one again. I'm just not sure if it's suitable from newborn, so I'll have to look into it. 
um, I found it to be very comfortable and uh, yeah if it can be used from newborn I'll be happy to just use that otherwise I was thinking about a Moby wrap but then I don't know about the reality of it you know at the shops um, if we're getting out of the car and I've got Elijah and I'm trying to wrap this whole big wrap I'm not sure how that will go um, but I'll decide I think hopefully I can just use the Manduka and yeah, I think that's about everything that we need for baby covered. Um, and of course there will just be things. Oh, also I really want to get a swing, uh, like a rocker kind of swing. And I like the Fisher Price, is that my little puppy? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. But I'm just having trouble finding it here in Australia. I found it on Amazon and I can get it shipped here, which is great. It comes with an AC adapter and I don't think if it's an American product, I don't think that they will fit our plugs. You know, obviously they use a different, um, I can't think of what they're called. I have such baby brain at the moment. Um, but you know, the plug in the socket and the wall, I don't think it will fit that because we have different ones here in Australia. Oh, in terms of my symptoms, um, I'm feeling pretty good. This is the biggest that I have been. Um, Elijah didn't get this big. I'll see if I can insert a picture of pregnancy one with Elijah and then this pregnancy and you can see the size difference is massive. Um, so I'm really sore in my hips and in my back, like constantly. And if I get up from laying down um, my whole pelvic area is just really painful I feel like I have to just really kind of brace myself and uh, once I'm up and moving about it's not quite as painful but that initial getting up is really painful and uh, baby is head down he was head down in my ultrasound that I had earlier in the week and then he was head down at my appointment yesterday when they were trying to find his heartbeat um, you know, when they were just listening, the doctor felt and she could feel that he was head down. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything is happening or that, you know, he's ready to come or anything because he can still move around. But um, I wonder if being head down, if that's why I've got so much pressure and such discomfort in that area. I, yeah, but I think that that is everything to update. I've talked about my symptoms and oh, the, uh, the other symptom that I have is that I have indigestion constantly uh, but that's okay I just chew a couple of Rani and I'm right as rain so that is it from me today I hope that you enjoyed this quick pregnancy update and I will speak to you again soon goodbye